안녕하세요 민배지 대우포 남자입니다 And 또또 And welcome to my home once again And welcome to Korean 집밥 Korean home food uh, Where I show you guys what Koreans really eat at home, right? Um, you, when we talk about Korean food, we usually think about, you know, Korean barbecue and, you know, tteokbokki, you know, heavy stuff like that. But is that what Koreans really eat at home? They can't be eating that every day, right? So in this video series, I show you guys uh, what Koreans typically eat at home and even show you guys how to make it. So today, our chipap is, chipap means home food, by the way. So today, our chipap is, da 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 da. Yes, our chip up is this. This is a very, very common, um, particularly breakfast for Koreans from more traditional families because these days Koreans for breakfast, they also eat bread, but for more traditional families, they still eat rice for breakfast. And today we have this called the ham. So today the chip up is called the ham sam pap. Okay, so ham sam pap uh, sounds like ham sam pap, right? Ham sam pap. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, but ham is just ham. Some means to wrap, wrap up something, okay? So in essence, ham sum pap means um, just eating rice by wrapping it up with a ham. Okay, this is a very, very, very common way of, of uh, eating alone or having a simple quick meal in Korea. So what, how you, how you eat ham sum pap is this, okay? Oh, sorry, I need to keep finding a good angle, okay? It's this. So you pick up a piece of ham, uh, first, I like to like put some kimchi, you know, like everything Korean. You want to put some kimchi first, right? Put some kimchi. I like, I like to put some kim as well, okay, like this. And then, take a piece of ham, okay, like this. Okay, so I'm doing it with one hand holding the camera, so it's kind of difficult. And then, this is the tough part about ham sum pap. The, Preparing the ingredients is so important, so so easy, but this is the hard part. Use the chopsticks, do this. See? Good, wrap it up like a mini kimbap. Mmm! Mmm, so delicious! Mmm! So, let me show, first show you guys how to get this ham. Let's go! So, to make ham sum, you need ham, not spam. Okay, they are different. Let's take a look. These are the hams. And you want this. You want like this kind of shape. Okay, this kind of shape for your ham sum pop. Okay, this kind of shape. I'm not sure if you can get this kind of Korean ham in your country. Rather than slicing it yourself, which is very, very difficult to get the correct thickness, which is very thin or thinness, you want to buy these ready made ones. Okay, already sliced up. And in fact, they really tell you how to. How to, what to do with it, see? Okay, I'm gonna get one. Okay, so back home, very simple. Once you have cooked your rice and you're ready to eat, just open it up and you know, you see all these thin, thin slices, right? Now, the thing is you don't want to cook it in water or fry it because then you curl up, then it becomes impossible to use. What I like to do is this. This is my own formula, by the way. After the rice has been cooked, simply put all this into the, into the rice cooker. So yeah, okay, this is, you just put it on the rice, okay, like that, and then just cut, cover it back, and warm it up for like 5 to 10 minutes will do. Okay, 잘 먹겠습니다. Ah, so, see, you just have to put the, the ham in the rice cooker for like uh, maybe 5 minutes, under warmer, okay, that means your, your rice is cooked and it's under warmer, you see? For about five minutes, then it'll be nice, warm, and wobbly like this. Okay. And typically, you want to like see you you need to use Korean or Japanese rice or Chinese rice, basically East East Asian rice to do this because the rice needs to be sticky, otherwise you can't you can't really like fold it up properly. Okay, so like this, and then some. This is called the sum, is to wrap it up like this, and hmm. Wow, the f barbecue fragrance of the ham goes so well with the kimchi and of course the, the rice. Mm. It's such a simple way to eat and it's so, actually so, so delicious. Wow. 
And there's a difference though, this is ham by the way, you can't use luncheon meat for this. Do you guys know the difference between ham and luncheon meat, right? Ham, basically is like um, cut from a whole slab of um, real meat, okay? I think the thigh or something or the shoulder meat. Ooh, like this. Like this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, machine. But luncheon meat or spam is uh, made from minced meat, okay? Meaning they grind all kinds of things together and make that uh, luncheon meat. So you can't do this with luncheon meat because you need the whole piece to be intact. And if you use luncheon meat, the moment you try to. See, there is also. Okay, okay, there is also lun a luncheon meat version, okay, there is also, alright, okay, I need to correct myself, okay. Um, you, there is also a luncheon meat, luncheon meat something, but um, you have got to do it differently, because the, the luncheon meat is minced meat, so it's not going to do this, um, it's not, e it's not easy if you slice it up like this, there's a specific way, I'll show you guys next time. Ooh, hmm. See, I like to use the barbecue flavor. Um, see, I like to use the barbecue flavor ham. This is a barbecue flavor ham. I really, really love to use the barbecue flavor ham. Yeah, are you wondering why Toto di didn't lunch after this thing? Ooh, look at that. Perfectly summed. Perfect sum. Look at that. You know why Toto is not eating? I gave her a whole bowl full of this ham just before this. <laughs> so, mm, as I was saying, um, what's that? Wow, this is very nice. This is so simple, look at that. See, you have to practice this though. Most of the time, you see, the thing is you need to use East Asian rice because if it's not sticky, it won't stay inside, it will all drop out. So if you're in Singapore, you will have to either buy Japanese rice or Korean rice or even Chinese rice will do. But I'm not sure if, if Singapore imports Chinese rice though. But you need this kind of sticky East Asian rice. Like this. And you'll be surprised, like, um, this is a very, very common way of eating, um, particularly in families where both parents work or that is a single, single parent family and the kids at home, they usually just like home alone, they'll eat this on their own. As you can see, I'll eat it with like this dishes, but you can typically people also eat this with keramari. Keramari meaning the Korean um, omelette. Almost all Koreans know how to make keramari, but my keramari mari skill is very bad and it fails a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I'll try it next time. But for me, this this is good. This is good enough. See, oh, I always always love how how I sum this thing. So nice. Hmm. 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 The thing about um eating this right is this. You need to use good kimchi. Like I always say in my videos. It's not kimchi if it's not fermented. Okay, this is one year fermented kimchi. And the kimchi you buy in the supermarkets, yeah, none of them are fermented. But if it's not fermented, it's just cabbage with chili sauce. Okay, it's not kimchi. Kim it's the fermentation that makes it kimchi. It's the fermentation that gives it that signature slightly smelly smell otherwise those you see those you buy from the supermarket usually doesn't come with that kimchi smell 
because it's not fermented. And if it's not fermented, the, the point is this, if it's not fermented, it's not sourish, okay? If it's not sourish, then it doesn't make a lot of Korean dish, the, doesn't give a lot of Korean dish the correct taste. A lot of Korean yeah. dish that includes kimchi, like this, or even kimchi jjigae, anything that has to do with kimchi needs to be slightly sourish, but... Hmm. If you don't use the correct fermented real kimchi, it's not going to turn out sourish. Now some people, some people also do this, okay? Kimchi, some. <laughs> okay, some people also do this. Some people also do this. Kimchi, some. Just wrap with kimchi right here. Mm. Toto, can you turn Toto, yellow. Yellow, can you turn Good girl. Hmm. Toto loves to bark whenever she hears dogs barking from 10 miles away. Her, her ears are so sharp. See, I really love it to. I, I like to use the, the, the um, seaweed sprinkle combined with kimchi and this because see then you have many different unique tastes from the from the from the ham you get the um slightly barbecue taste then from the from the kimchi you get the sourish taste and then that seaweed gives you a slightly sweet taste hmm mm. mm. And you know, for busy mornings, you don't have um. This is just like um. Uh, I I this, at least from what I heard uh, from my friends, um, some of them actually eat this more more commonly for breakfast mm. rather than lunch or dinner. But as you know, ham is not a Korean thing. Like ham, spam, all these things. Even chili is not native to Korea. Okay. So as such, it a lot of the common Korean, so-called Korean food that we know today are actually not Korean. They're very westernized. Actually, they're all uh, from very western influence. Even chili. So we may ask, oh, if chili is not, it's not a Korean thing, how come kimchi is uh, spicy. Isn't kimchi traditional? Oh yeah. Do you know that there's also pet kimchi? There's many types of kimchi and there are a lot of kimchi that is not spicy. <laughs> it just happened that this form of kimchi is the most popular and it's made from chili brought in, okay at least from what I read so far, okay don't quote me on this. There's, I think Portuguese brought in the chili to Korea. That's when they started using that in the kimchi which is also a few hundred years ago so if you want to count that as um, traditional I guess you can because uh, it's still got a few hundred years history behind it that's why it's like it's so so popular and so common now mm. So for a bowl of rice like this, I think you will need like at least 20 slices of ham. I'm using um, um, about 15 slices and you know, I only like barely two-thirds of the way through my rice and I think I'm finishing the, 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 the ham already. Just two more slices of ham left. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna kimchi some. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Oh. So simple. And yet so nice. And you guys must be thinking, you see. Uh, you guys must have, must have observed so far that like eating 
this um, ham sum, I'm using only one hand and using only chopsticks. Okay, for obvious reasons because you really only need one hand with one pair of chopsticks and nothing else. Hmm. So for a final slice, I'd like to just put in everything. For a final slice, I just gotta just pour in everything. Dumpy dumpy dum. And then. Yep, let's take a look. Lighting is not so good today, I'm sorry. Pick up the whole jam. Whoa! Mmm! 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 So, just a last bit of rice left, so we're just gonna. Mm. Yep, so that's the ham sum part for you guys. Um, oh, okay, I'll make a, a separate video on um, Korean eating etiquette, you know, how you hold your everything on the casual version and the extreme formal version soon, right? Stay tuned for that as well. Hmm. Mm. So, I'm going to see you guys next time. Annyeong.